to memorize it. Obviously, the general principles of memorization and the greatest of those principles is al-isti'anatu billah. It's to seek Allah's help. And also, it's to leave off sins. To leave off sins. You have the spiritual principles to memorize. As far as the actual technical groundwork, the, the hardware, then it's nothing like just hard work. Repetition. Sacrifice. How you sleep, how you eat, the things that you do. Uh, how many images and colors you see on a daily basis. All of these things have an effect upon your mind. And how often you put the, what you're trying to memorize in your subconscious. Listening to it when you're asleep. Listening to it when you're doing something, not sitting in front of a desk. Like walking or running or driving or riding or eating. Always hearing it, always replaying it in your head. Everybody understand this? Reading it in a dim light and straining your eyes to look at it. Everybody understand this? Reading it without the vowels. Reading it in a copy that you're not familiar with or with an older copy. All these things, huh? It enhances your memory power, your brain power. And certain foods that you eat. Only if you live that life. As far as if you pick up a book for 10 minutes out of the day, eating raisins and salmon, that's not really going to help you much. But if you're memorizing for hours out of the day, and you're studying day in and day out, week, month, year, those little small 2%, 5%, 3%, 10% make a what? Makes a huge difference. Like business-minded people. Why do they have to use this byproduct and this bread? Or this cheese or this sauce? Why can't they just use tomatoes? Because I'm making a million bottles of tomato sauce a year. And that extra money that I can save and this cost that I cut to a business mind man who's shrewd it makes a what a huge difference because that's what I do for a living but for you to just making tomato sauce by, from scratch in your kitchen it's no big deal just use natural tomatoes but I'm saying no I need to use a byproduct that comes from animal intestines because it saves me a fraction of the cost in the long run so the same rule applies to memorizing every single little nook and cranny that you can do to enhance your memory and to sustain and maintain your memory, if you're a real student of knowledge living that life, then that is what you should do. That is what you should do. So first and foremost are the spiritual principles, seeking Allah's help, being pious, avoiding sin, and also the physical, tangible things that you can do. As far as for the hadith of Noe, the Midnight Ta'ala, the book is in wide circulation. I don't think there's a scholar except that he has an explanation of the book. I don't think there's a serious, self-respecting student of knowledge except it has an explanation to the book. There's several versions in English. There's so much service that's been done to the book that it makes it easier for you to memorize it. So stick with one copy of the book. Make sure that it's a good copy with the proper diatrical marks. And stay with that. And focus on one thing at a time. Be the nice final time. When you sit down and eat at the dinner table, have the book open. When you're walking down the street, have the book open. Everybody understand this? Rather, some of the ulama of Islam, as was mentioned, if my memory doesn't uh, fail me this time, I believe it was Abu Hatim al-Razi. Abu Hatim al-Razi, the great alim of Ilal of the 3rd century. His son, Ibn Abi Hatim, the author of Al-Ilal, he says that I read to my father all of the time. When my father walked, when my father did this, when my father did that. He says, even when my father used the bathroom, when my father used the bathroom, I would be outside of the restroom, and I would read to him as he was using the bathroom. And it was an older brother from Philadelphia, my, my city, who uh, he showed me this narration. Many years ago, I still was in high school. And alhamdulillah, from that day on, it had a profound effect upon me. A profound effect. And I tried my best to implement that. And there were some brothers in Medina, we would play the radio, or play the cassette tape, brushing your teeth, or doing whatever you're doing in the bathroom. Brothers would go, what are you doing? They would laugh and they would make fun of it. And I say, be quiet, because I have an ether to prove this. That this is from the way of some of the ulama of the past, and you will learn so much knowledge by stealing time. When you eat, when you drink, when you sleep, when you do this, make knowledge a part of it. Replay the metan over and over again, and you steal your downtime. Everybody understand this? Or you have friends that come over to visit you, and you can't get out of it. You have family members, you can't get out of it. So have it playing in the background, even if it's low. And you can still hear it a little bit. And it can subconsciously soak into your head and you still entertain your guests. Always take advantage of your time. Huh? If you're trying to memorize something. And just general lectures. General fatwas. And only Allah knows how much knowledge we got from the tape player in Medina. Only Allah knows how much ilm we got from the tape player. Huh? 
in the radio, in the cab, in the car, and now in the modern era with the with the iPhone and iTunes and this and that and so on and so forth. Only Allah knows. So that's my advice with regards to memorizing, focus, cut yourself off, and be the night to seek help in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it takes time, it takes longevity. It doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't what? It doesn't happen overnight. Last but not least is teach what you learn. Teach what you have studied. That is one of the best, if not the best way of burning it into your memory. Is to pass it on to others. You make zakat. And zakat is barakah. It's purity. It purifies your wealth when you give charity. When you pay alms tax. And most importantly, every time you hand out knowledge, your knowledge becomes even more solid and even more concrete. Hmm? And Allah knows best. But the law is all success. Obviously, you can go back to the book that we've explained. The Atat al Ilm. Oh, student of knowledge. And we explained how to read, how to memorize, and how to understand. Sheikh Abdul Aziz al We explained this in details on the, on the, on the channel. And Allah knows best.